Hi, I'm Analytical, and today we will be completing the Holy Trinity, Cabonet, of web development. We've already learned a bit of HTML and CSS, and the final piece of the web development puzzle is JavaScript. This is our first JavaScript project on this channel, and it is a great project if you've never seen any code before, or if you've seen some code before and want to build a meme-worthy soundboard. Before we dive in, be sure to like and subscribe. In the description, I'll include the base HTML, CSS, images, and sounds if you want to follow along. Now let's dive in. Perhaps you saw floating around this amazing Monikart soundboard. It is a what? Brown cow. Stunning. Dot com. This was made entirely by me, and by the end of these next few videos, you will have all the tools necessary to build your own, or to download this and then modify it to add images of your own favorite queen and their quotes. Perhaps me? Oh, you're too kind. I'm going to start you out with some HTML and CSS, just so we can focus on the new and important parts. This will be our starting point. Our styles are in a separate file this time. I'm doing this just to keep this HTML file a bit more clean, and this is actually what most programmers do. You use the link tag, set rel equal to style sheet, and the href will be wherever your styles are. So this is all we're starting with. Oh, and in the sounds file, we've got a bunch of individual sound clips, and there are plenty of videos on how to do that already. Feel free to clip them to whatever length you want. Like when we were adding styles, we used a style tag, and we add JavaScript or a script, we're going to use the script tag. We include this right before the closing tag in the body. I'll just show how to create an alert for our first script. So I can type alert, which is a function, and then inside of it I can pass a string or some text. And we'll do that in quotes and end each line in JavaScript with a semicolon. Similar to CSS. And we'll refresh and now we get an alert. So this is the first function we've ever run in JavaScript. We can also create variables in programming. This is great to store information you might want to use over and over again. So if we wanted to do this alert a few times, we could copy and paste it down below, but when we want to change it, we'd have to change each one at a time, which is kind of annoying. Just create a variable. Hi, Anna, equals our message. Variables can store all kinds of data. Numbers, pieces of text, audio files, lists. Instead of passing this text directly into the alert function, we can just pass hi Anna. These are definitely very basic variables and functions in JavaScript, but they illustrate the concepts we're going to use in this video. I'll delete these for now, and we are going to create an audio variable, because we want to play audio when we click on each of these images. Create a variable, we type var, and then the name of the variable. So we can call this variable stunning audio. Set this equal to a new audio object and make sure it's capitalized. JavaScript is case sensitive. To specify which audio we want to play, just like images where we use the path name, we're going to use the path name for our audio. I'll just pick one of them to start out, and these are in the sounds directory, semicolon to end the line. We've created the audio file, but we need to play it. So we can do stunning audio dot play. I'll save this and let's see what happened. And Nothing happened. I was a little confused by this at first, but after some research, I found out browsers don't want any old script to be able to play audio or music when the user loads the page. You have to trigger it with a click. Imagine if every website you went to was able to play Rectangle Girls of the World automatically. That'd be so annoying. No thanks. We need to set up a way to run this audio when we click something. Let's listen for this click on the first image since I've paired them up. So just like we have a source attribute, there is an on click attribute. In here, we can run a function. Let's create a function called say it, Monique. And we need to use opening and closing parentheses after do indicate we're calling the function, similar to how we were calling the function play and alert. We can put all of this into a function. Create a new function by typing function and then the name. We already created the name up here, so say it Monique. Everything we want to happen in the function we'll put in curly braces. We want the function to create the audio and play it. Save this, see if it works. America, my face is saying everything that you need to know. Uh oh, is it? We've created our first custom function. Let's set up the on clicks for all of the other images. So we'll do on click. We could create another function called say brown cow Monique and it would create the audio object and then play it. But the code in here would be exactly the same except for the name of the file. Instead of having to create a new function for each of these, we can pass in the name of the file. Here we'll use say it Monique as well, but for America my face in single quotes instead of double quotes, we'll pass in America my face, and here we'll pass in brown cow stunning. Here we're going to take in the clip name, which is the 
name of our audio clip. Unlike in math class, you can do addition on text here. So put sounds slash and dot wave slash in quotes and then do sound slash plus clip name. Do another plus so it adds the dot wave. Let's see how that goes. America, my face is saying everything that you need to know. Brown cow, stunning. Well, that was certainly stunning. Now we have an easy way to play audio files for all of these images. We're going to add an on click and have it run the function say it Monique with the name of the audio. A quick way to edit multiple lines that look the same in Sublime is to hold the Alt key and drag your mouse down so you get multiple cursor. And then we can just type the same thing at once. So on click equals say it Monique parentheses, single quotes, and then we're just going to go grab names of the images, which is also the name of the audio file. I'll refresh. And I think this really is the Ooh, uh, oh! sensation, honey, dot com. With just four lines of JavaScript, we were able to create this interactive website. In the next video, we're going to set up the crown button. Every time we click this, we're going to get Odi Cart just saying her sister's names. So stay tuned to learn all about that. Thanks for watching.